We are here live with legendary football coach Chuck Gordon. Coach, how are you doing? Doing great. Uh, great to be back at John Glenn High School. A lot of great memories. I think we all agree it's always a great day whenever you're able to make your way back to John Glenn. Uh, so we'll start just a quick question. For all your former players and alumni that are out there, maybe you haven't had a chance to catch up with in a while, uh, what has Coach Gordon been up to these days? Well, I just finished the summer working at a golf course one day a week for free golf and play a couple times a week with high school buddies. Uh, in the winter months, I, I still substitute teach some. I, I really enjoy being around kids still. I'm not sure if what I'm going to do about this uh, COVID thing. I might be in retirement, but uh, life's good. Having a good time. Well, good. We're glad you're enjoying your retirement. So we'll move on to the game that we have tonight. So both teams currently have uh, losing records coming into this game, but both are extremely motivated to win the game. What has made this game so special for both schools? Well, it's a huge rivalry. Uh, coaches know each other. Partic you know, back in our day, we knew the coaches, the players knew the players, and uh, it's, it's something that you built for. You know, in those days, the game was always game nine. And so you always had that to look forward to. So if you were having something going haywire in your season, you still had really the the big game uh, ahead. So you didn't have trouble keeping guys working because they knew what what was at the end. Sure. We know records don't matter when we play the game. Uh, oftentimes you come into this game as a heavy favorite. What's been your message to your team to keep them motivated for this game and not overlook Wayne? Well, we never overlooked them. Uh, they all knew how important it was for every guy in that locker room, every coach, and really every guy that's ever played in the game. And during the season, uh, you know, if we're conditioning, we might do one extra for Wayne. We might run a drill over one more time uh, for Wayne. Uh, we never stopped thinking about him, never. Now, by my count, you coach in this game 27 times, is that correct? Well, as a head coach, and I was an assistant for four prior to that, so 31 times been involved in this game, 31 out of the 50. 31 times, impressive. So more than 50% of this rivalry you've participated in. So we know that the 2003 game was your last. Actually, that was the first high school football game that I ever attended. Uh, looking back at that game, being that it was your last one, what stood out about that game? Uh, were there any storylines that week or plays in that game that stand out when you reflect back on that game? Well, I, I knew – you know, that would be the last time. Wayne Wayne actually was having a great year. Uh, the year before, they had gone one and eight. That year, coming into the game, we were seven and one, and they were six and two. And a former Glenn player, Craig Natuk, uh, an assistant, was the head coach. So from a coaching standpoint, there was uh, no need to get motivated. But... A lot of people don't know this. The week before, we played uh, at Livonia Stevenson. And after the game, instead of going to the bus, I took him back in the locker room and talked about Wayne before we ever left Livonia and told them uh, I was sick of reading about Wayne. They were having a good year. I was happy for them. But uh, in this district, um, there's one football team, it's, and it's you, and it's us. And I just want you to think about that all weekend before we go back to work on Monday. And as I recall, you ended that game in a 40-day victory for John Glenn. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> so prior to 2003, um, was there any other particular city championship game that stood out above the rest? No, they're all special. Um, you know, they're, they're special for everybody, particularly the guys that were seniors that year. Uh, because one of the things we always told them that it was 48 minutes of football, but it was a lifetime of memories. And, uh, but one, you know, 1979, we beat them on the last play of the game, which <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. And I think it's the only time in uh, my coaching career a game came down to the last play to determine the outcome. And for it to be against Wayne at Wayne, uh, that was pretty special. So we know you built a very proud and prestigious program during your time here at Glenn. What do you feel Coach Griggs needs to do to bring John Glenn back to that level? Well, first of all, you have to have good staff. We had great uh, coaches, great staff, cared about the players. They um, hard workers, 
They'd go seven days a week. They didn't care. So he's he's got to get, you know, good staff together. The other thing that's really hurt him this first year is he he arrives and then we get locked down. So he, he basically had no off season with his team to build the foundation that he wants to build. And, and so hopefully, you know, we get this virus thing under control and things get back to normal and, and he'll have that opportunity to uh, have an off season program, uh, weight program, speed development, summer camp, all the things that, that we tried to do. Now, lastly, we'll finish up here, Coach. Uh, I mentioned earlier that several former players uh, will probably be watching this game tonight uh, or will even be watching live or down the road. Do you have any message to those players out there that may not have had the chance to catch up with you for a while? Well, I want to thank them. Um, I was really uh, proud to be their coach. Uh, loved coaching at John Glenn. People have heard me say this many times. I, I taught and coached for 32 years, and not one day did I – ever get up and go to work I went and had fun but the guys that uh, played here uh, worked hard good attitudes and uh, really any success that we had starts with them because you know coaches use the the term buy-in I'm not sure I like that phrase the the phrase that I prefer would be you get with the plan and those guys would get with the plan they'd get behind the plan and uh, go to work. They were tough. Uh, I think the highest compliment you can give a, a player is that they were easy to coach. Our guys were easy to coach. Loved it. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. Happy to have you back at John Glenn, as always. And enjoy the game tonight. Let's hope we come out with a Rockets victory. All right. Uh, thank you for uh, the opportunity. And uh, these, all these uh, Glenn guys that are watching this, I miss you. Take care, Coach. Thank you.